back with another video and really excited today thank you to our sponsor car pride who have sent us something great and i'm really looking forward to getting this set up new piece of uh, technology to help us with uh, l's our trusty e51 um, we're going to install this into the nissan l grand but before we do that let's get to the unboxing and i'll show you what this is all about see you inside all right guys super excited let's take a look in the box and see what we've got <laughs> Okay, nice packaging, got some protective foam here, and here is the baby, look at this, wow. So guys, we've received the Car Pride 901 Pro, and this is a console uh, dashboard HD display, 9 inch IPS touchscreen, um, Bluetooth, USB, TF audio video with voice controls, uh, including USB charger port. So this, basically, is going to be fantastic for our needs as you know we travel a lot we use L's here to get on various adventures so this is going to be really really helpful in navigating us uh, having a bit of home entertainment as we travel and uh, yeah looking forward to unboxing this looking at the components getting her set up and uh, giving her a test drive but uh, yeah really uh, really great nicely packaged up again thank you to car pride for sending through the 901 pro and uh, let's get this stuff out of the box i'll be back in a sec opened up the you know the box here just wanted to kind of show you how nicely packaged this is and we've got the main unit here I'll just pull her out it's nicely wrapped I'll take her out of the protective wrap and there we are nice really nice unit quite lightweight but feels quality and we'll, we'll look at some of the details uh, shortly as we come through but we do have as i can see here a lot of nice features dc 12 volt usb av out cam in tf and mic options we've got a power button there so all in really good we've got a protective coating on here we'll we'll just peel that off in a bit when we get things set up so that's great that looks really nice let's see what's uh, what else is in the bag okay we've got a suction cup connector this will be able to go onto the uh, main windscreen and as you know i particularly like to use these um, and this will be the way we're going to set up our our device today we're going to be using this i'll just pop that down okay and let's see what else we've got here okay this is our carport power so this is where we're going to put this in 12 volt dc that will just go in and then that will be powering the device so that's really handy okay we've also got a dash mount stand so again another way to connect your device very easy that will slot in there you've got 3m uh, 300 lse sticky back so with that you can effectively plant that firmly on your dash connect the screen so a really good option there we've got looks like audio cable there in out which is probably going to be handy for some of the attachments and let's see what else is in the kit okay it looks like we've got a pad could be a magnetic or sticky pad again we'll, we'll have a look at this in a bit of detail later we'll just unbox that some sort of mounting kit i assume and last but not least instruction manual always handy um, bracket installation also there's a this is going to be great connecting the mobile up and uh, you know having a car play systems so here's your instruction pack obviously that's going to be really handy do take a look at that um, but yeah let's uh, let's arrange the kit now and have a look at what we've got so we've got the bracket here that's the main bracket again this is a dash mounting bracket you stick that on your dashboard clip this into the back of the car pride unit head unit um, we've got our second bracket here 
So this is obviously the one that we'll be using in our installation today. This will basically go onto the windscreen and that black, uh, connects into the back of the, uh, the main unit. Um, this is called a suction cup gasket. So again, you know, for additional mounting points, this can be used and uh, obviously provide uh, additional help. We've got the user manuals here and uh, a kind of quick how to install setup, which is great, makes it nice and easy. Um, we've got the 3.5 millimeter audio uh, cable here, which is great. We've got our car charger, this will give us our power. Very easy to connect. And of course, the boxing that it came in, which is really nicely packaged up. It's nice and light and really good. So yeah, I mean, the key things of this is, it's obviously the quality, you know, the build. Um, as I say, I mean, even just holding this, the components feel great. Um, Car Pride itself is a global brand. You know, we've used Car Pride uh, products ourselves. So this is a really good product. We already know this. So again, I feel comfortable in using Car Pride uh, products. Um, you know, many customers also like the product and, and do use it. Uh, the size is great. You know, in terms of the sizing, you know, it's, uh, I think this is, uh, if we look across the top, the width here, it's uh, 8.74 inches or 22.2 cm. And then the height here, just looking at the up and down there, is 3.5 inches or 13.5 cm. So uh, a great size across the screen here. This is a nine inch. Um, we, we've currently had a smaller size that we were using before. So this is a nice upgrade. It's a bigger screen. Obviously with L's here, we're in a big vehicle. So uh, it's gonna really make a, a good difference for us. So yeah, looking forward to getting that in. Um, we'll just take you through a few of these little components here. So we do have, um, oops, let's spin over around. So we do have the power button here. As, as said, we've got the power on. And basically you give a long press to turn on and off and a short press to mute. So again, you can easily get rid of any of those background noises. It's light sensitive. We have the button here. So that gives us full light sensitivity. So again, the screen will auto adjust as necessary. Um, here we have the 4 ohm 5 watt speaker built in, which is great. I mean, obviously we're going to be outputting through our own uh, integration system and I'll show you how we're going to connect that. There are multiple ways to connect. Um, now in terms of the side ports here, what we have, we'll just take a little look in here and I'll show you these components. So we do have external mic which is here, that's your external mic. Uh, it's a 3.5 millimeter TF card. You can put the card in there as necessary. We've got a cam in, it's a backup camera, etc. And that's a 2.5 millimeter jack. Audio out, 3.5 millimeter. Uh, we've got a USB. This is a five volt, 2.1 amp. And finally, the, the main power supply we're gonna be using here, DC 12 volt or 12 to 24 volt 2.5A. So there's all your, your main uh, featured points that we're gonna obviously be connecting the device up to. Cool. So, so as you can see with L's, we do have a nice wide dashboard. We have the existing car pride unit we've been using, which is a nice small sized uh, unit. Obviously, we're doing an upgrade here today. We're upgrading to the Car Pride 901 Pro unit, which is a, a nine inch screen. I think that smaller one might be a seven that we had. Um, and this one has more features, which we're gonna come down to. So let's move over to the front and we'll crack on with the installation. Show you how easy it is. We've got the stand out. Um, this is the stick on uh, screen stand. So this is what we're gonna use. And we've got these clips here. As you can see, we've got the clips on the back and it's literally just a case of mounting these on. So we're just gonna do that now. Let's just slot that in. That clicks, just clicks into place very easily, like that, and uh, you can tighten this up. You've got this ball joint here, so you can make that a bit stiffer. 
there we are so that's the unit um, pretty much we're gonna stick that in here and first we're gonna just get our power supply connected let's just get that one just under the wheel so the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna thread my cable through here that's it that will get tucked under my dash which I'll clean up with an, a tool later and then I'm just plugging this into the carport so plug her in I'll just show you that so there we go guys my carport I've got a multi carport unit I've just plugged that in it goes into the carport just right there nice and easy just slot that in I've got the switch on so that's uh, connected up plugging in and cranking the power so plug in set up take the sticky pad off and just find a location where we're going to stick her there we go I'll just move that out of the way Okay, so there, there she is. She's set up right in the middle there. Nice view. We'll take the skin off. As I say, I will tidy up all these cables later. I just want to get the basic uh, setup in play and crank it up. So first, let's start the engine. There we are. She's booting up. It's coming a bit closer here. So now what we want to do is obviously tune it in, connect everything up um, to the phone. So I'll show you how we're going to do that. It's quite straightforward. So just a couple of quick points with this um, arm. You can adjust the length and you can adjust it with the brackets at the back. Um, so again, it just saves a lot of time with in traditional installation methods. It's the same as this. If I was actually using this one, you can stick that on and then everything's fully adjustable. It's the same with this. You can adjust the arm in and out. Um, and really, it's just very, very flexible. So uh, great, you know, great convenience. You know, no additional labor costs. Makes it very easy. Now then, we're going to look at the wireless connection. Um, so we've got the power supply. We've got it turned on. We're going to look at um, Apple CarPlay, which is a, an important one. So I've got my Apple phone here and we're going to connect it up to the device. It's very easy to do. Just want to point out it supports the CarPlay wireless connection function of Apple phones and it also does support auto connection function of Android mobile. So if you've got an Android phone, you can check the function displays in the manual and there's a way to connect that. Right, so settings and Basically, you can see you've got your wireless connection here and you've got Bluetooth. So that's the uh, first thing I'm going to do is connect my phone to the same channel. I'm just going into Bluetooth. That's switched on. CarPride 039. There we go. We've just found it. I'll come in a bit closer here. So I'm connecting to the same. Uh, there we go. We're just going to connect the Bluetooth up. Okay, Bluetooth pairing. Um, allow contacts and favourites. So you can do this if you're going to be making calls through your system. I'm not, so I don't need that. Okay, there we go. And as you can see, my phone has just connected Richie's iPhone. So I've got all my functions there, which is great. Green tick symbol at the top. We've now got Bluetooth connected. Um, and there we go, it's, it's, it's as simple as that, folks. Look, it's already just gone straight to my maps. As you know, with me, Google Maps is so important. Um, so that's really good. Let's just put in a destination here. Um, let's just say directions to Ogmore Valley, okay. And there we go. Simple as that simple as that and of course you can have all your audio displays and such so it's it's fantastic I mean I'm so happy that that's working that is such a nice big 
clear display we've got the light sensitivity as well and i'll go through some of the features in a minute um, but just wanted to quickly show you how fast it took me it took less than 10 seconds to get to connect to this so uh, really fantastic so you've got various uh, options this is the main menu we're looking at uh, that's android auto that's iplay or you know for the car play you've got airplay auto link eq various settings transmitter card USB and of course Bluetooth, which we're, we're using the Bluetooth connection. So let's just go into CarPlay or iPlay, and you've got some, uh, you know, shortcut keys as well. So we've got our settings here, which is nice. We'll just go back to the, I'll go back to home here. Okay, what I want to show you next is settings so we've currently got that on the device speaker i'm going to turn the device speaker off video warning park line park settings rear camera mirror so if you have a rear camera you can just plug that straight in android wired link language device which is great let's have a look at the sound okay okay this is our brightness cool time let's go back home okay let's take a look at the bluetooth transmission to radio to see how that works fm transmit or bluetooth transmit so we'll take fm transmission okay we've got some connection options what we do is we're going to connect the program on our radio to the same frequency so right now on my radio, let's take a look. I have FM 176.0 megahertz. So we want to put that onto the same channel. So we're going to choose here the same program. And uh, this should basically now connect us up. And we're on the we're on the program there. That's off, that's on. We'll go home okay now let's uh, let's just give an example here okay we just go on to uh, Spotify yes beautiful so there we go Lovely sound, very rich. You're in my head, girl. Yeah. Nice. I know I thought I was never enough. So there we go, FM transmission, simple as that. We've got music coming through. I'm going to take that down because I don't want to get monetized, <laughs> demonetized. which is great okay that's really nice so guys we do have audio connection that's great we've got that all synced up and that literally took a few seconds to, to kind of sort out which is great really easy to connect so uh, yeah very pleased with uh, with that so far so there we go we've really just uh, got everything that I need it for navigation so that's our navigation sorted um, we can use Apple Maps, we can use Waze, whatever, you know, whatever tool you, you're using, uh, this will connect to. Um, I'll give you another example here. I've got Waze on my phone. There we go. It's already giving me the pop-up. There we go. I've got Waze. It's in the shortcut menu, so I can quickly toggle my shortcuts. Just a simple press. I've got my Waze map there. Hang on right. And then, hang a right. <laughs> and then we've got, it's giving us instructions, which is great. And yeah, no, this is awesome. So I've pretty much, like I said, I've got everything set, set up that I need, uh, how I use it. Again, I can see my battery power on my phone. You know, it's really nice. So uh, yeah, very pleased with, uh, with the car pride system. As for me, I'm basically gonna be using this for navigation and radio this is a japanese import vehicle um, the current system has limited channels there's no bluetooth on here 20 year old vehicle so again this 
is fantastic if you have a vehicle like mine where you can't connect to you know say a modern bluetooth system because your current stereo doesn't have that then you just use the fm connector like i did it takes seconds to uh, to do very easy to to connect as i say that's the carplay system we've got airplay where you can kind of just basically mirror you have to disconnect the wireless iPlay before using AirPlay. Um, Auto link, so this is more of an Android function, so you can basically screen mirror and all of that cool stuff. EQ, so there we go, we've got some nice functions on the EQ. I'll just, uh, let's just put some music in. Loud. Classic. Wow, that's nice. Rock. Jazz. Electric. Pop. Soft. Custom, standard, classic, sounds really good. And then the loud function. So yeah, really nice, easy to, you know, play with these uh, sound systems. Custom there. Really nice, quick touch screen. I'll just put the bass up there. So it's that easy. So nice, yeah, pretty cool. And uh, yeah, go back. So that's your EQ settings. While iPlay is working, you can't use Bluetooth, okay. USB, so you can plug a USB in, you've got MP3s on there. You can plug a card in, a TF card. We've already set up the transmit, as I said. We're on FM transmission. You can use Bluetooth transmission too. Um, and then you've got all your settings here. We've turned the device speaker off. You can change your languages. Right drive there if you need it. You can restore your factory settings and then you've got your system version here. Features. Um, so this does support Siri and Google voice controls. Um, so after voice control turned on, you can choose to use voice to open your navigation and music and you can also make calls. Now because of the built-in Bluetooth 5.0, it does support hands-free calling. No need to leave the steering wheel to control the device and that makes it a much, much safer unit. So. Uh, Really, uh, really good there. This does support uh, Siri, uh, and also you can use your Android, Google hands-free stuff. So I'm on CarPlay, so let's uh, let's uh, just test this. Hey Siri, open Google Maps. There we are. Hey Siri, I want to go to Birmingham. Getting directions to Birmingham. Next stop is Birmingham. There we go. So we've actually got multiple map options up here. Hey Siri, give me directions to London using Google Maps. Getting directions to London using Google Maps. There we go. There we are, guys. Simple as that, really. You know, you can put your routes in uh, using the audio. Cool. So that's how easy it is. You've got everything at your fingertips. Wireless calling, you can answer the calls wirelessly. Um, really, I'm really impressed with that. I think this is one of the best things, one of the best functions about the Car Pride system. So really impressive. Uh, hey Siri, go to Spotify. And there you go, look, you can navigate between Spotify, you can play that automatically, search tunes. Amazing screen, really good quality there. Um, as I mentioned as well, 
the DC power on this thing is really good. You know, it's a 12 to 24 volt, which means it's suitable for multiple vehicles, um, cars like SUVs, off-road vehicles, trucks. I mean, this is a van we're in and, uh, and it really works well with that. Uh, you know, you've got great EQ functions, as I showed you earlier, you. you know, just a quick FM transmit, connect it to your station on your system. Got some options there, you can tune it. Really easy to do. Shortcut keys at the top, nice and easy. Adjust your brightness. Turn the auto brightness off or on. Time, help, other default things. Pause the music there on the device. Or oh, sorry, mute the music there. So really easy, lovely to use. I'll show you the brightness. So there you go. I'll just put that on all right there. Actually, to be honest with you guys, I always pretty much have this just maxed out. That's how I like it. Mirror. In the instructions, you have to make sure that you disconnect uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Disconnect, turn them off, um, so we're not connected. Then you reconnect only the Wi-Fi. Keep Bluetooth turned off, and I've just connected onto the CarPride channel. Now you have to go to your screen settings, and we're going to basically click on this function here okay so this function is our screen mirroring or control center so which is a car pride did using the screen mirroring function which is this button here in our Apple settings and if I look at the screen bingo we've done it there we go we've uh, we've got our screen perfectly mirrored here which is uh, really nice it's uh, just check a few more settings. Oh, nice! There we go. Screens mirrored. So, uh, skip the ads. And what are we doing? They're massive. Huge. Like, yeah. This one is like. Oh, like, yeah, it. Let's just go to be, Let's go big. And I'm sitting there going, I can drive it. There we go. And obviously, if if you find a, a high resolution video, you're going to have a, a a higher quality, obviously. But yeah, it's pretty nice. Quality's nice, looks good. Good morning guys, so we're coming to you from a very sunny Bristol. There we are, morning. screen mirroring, look at that. It's YouTube playing on the phone on the car pride, bingo. And it's completely wireless. Very impressed with that. So guys, hope you've enjoyed the video using the car pride system here. And uh, yeah, we'll be back and show you that being used in other videos. So great, thanks for subscribing. Um, thanks again for coming in, checking out the video. Um, a big shout out and a massive thank you to Car Pride today. So remember guys, get your Car Pride. Um, this is the nine inch portable wireless, uh, you know, really easy to install, super fast, super easy. Uh, CarPlay, Android Auto, everything you need, wireless, mirroring, connect to your radio, you don't need any fancy cables, connections, I, you know, I've literally just plugged it into my 12 volt car charger port, and away I go, that's it, I'm fully on the road, mobile, um, you know, great device, what can I say, links in the description, discount code in the description, check it out, get to Car Pride, grab your uh, piece of kit, and uh, you know, you'll be all set up and ready to go as well. Hope you've enjoyed the video. 
and again remember to like share subscribe give us a comment give us your feedback and let us know what you think thanks again for watching take care bye guys mm -hmm.